Welcome back YouTube. This is Dave Lucas with Injections, Injection Molding Skills and More. Sorry about got tongue twisted there. Um, today we are actually going to go over splay and what causes splay and how to see what splay is. And you have four different variables that you can actually have. So you'd have the processing side of it, the machine side of it, the mold side of it, and the material side of it. So you'd have those four on here that you'd see so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna read you what is splay and how to understand what splay is so i'm gonna read this to you guys splay is a cosmetic defect that occurs in plastic molding when silver or white streaks appear on the surface of a part it can be difficult to determine what is truly splay as it appear appearance is very similar to other defects so you could have other look-alikes okay including surface scratches, scuffs, flow lines, delamination, contamination, or flaking or cold slugging. So these are a lot of issues that you could have. So what causes splay? There's many culprits that can cause splay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a video, and then after the video I'm going to show you guys some, what issues you would have on the machine side, the mold side, the material side, and the molding process side, okay? So stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy the video within the video. Parts <laughs> that have a defect called splay. Splay, sometimes called silver streaks, is an appearance defect. It looks like streaks or scratches on the surface of the part. Splay is caused by small gas bubbles in the plastic that come to the surface of the part as the mold is filling. These bubbles are dragged along the surface and cause the streaks you see. The gas bubbles usually come from moisture that is carried into the heating barrel along with the plastic granules. The moisture becomes steam bubbles. The gas causing splay can also be from degradation of the plastic. The problem of splay can be caused by moisture on or in the plastic raw material or by overheating the plastic which can cause a gas to be generated. Some plastics are hygroscopic, meaning they can absorb moisture out of the air. These plastics must be dried before molding. Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that part of the video. Um, I wanted to add this in here to let you guys know what was going on. Um, the video after you look at this will show you the four variables of what causes splay. Now this is what would actually fix splay. So let me turn this around and show you. So if you're looking at this, splay is up here is like machine and process right here. So these are the settings that would actually help you fix any of those issues for process and machine. This here would be for material. What you do for material side, this would be for the mold side. So if you're in a mold problem, increase mold temperature, increase hot runner temperature, clean vents and add or enlarge, check burns along the melt flow front, increase gate size or runner. Same up here. So this would be material issues that you'd have. Check material moisture, decrease percentage of regrind or eliminate it. Um, and then, like I said, all these would be your machine, machine and process. These would be ideas you could try. You could go either way on them. So just let me know what you guys think. If you guys uh, <clears throat> try any of those, like I said, you can go one way or the other. So you might increase something or decrease something. Um, but I'll go to the next check on this. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that part of the video so these are actually the four variables that you'd have for splay okay so i'm going to start with the molding process so this might be your process drying the material high melt temperature decompression back pressure screw recovery rate um, residence time how long the material sits in the barrel screw recovery this could be going back to the rate the overall screw recovery feed throat temperature inconsistent feed material feed so you might be watching your metering time 
it might be jumping all over the place that could be a problem your mold side so this is on the mold itself venting hot runner temperatures cold slug wells sprue and nozzle tip orifices being the same size or being too small or being too big and you're shearing going into the gate sharp corners gate flaking lubricants this could be anything you, you get bleed out on injector pins and stuff guys crack molds leaky air on the machine side so this is the machine controls stuff like that so screw design temperature controls Damage components on the press itself, crack feed throat. You give it, you could be getting water into your material, don't even know it because you got a crack feed throat ring or check ring or whatever. Lack of process control, so you ain't got no control over it. Your injection speed, you can't control it, you can't control your pressure, stuff like that. So, on the material side, contamination, excessive wet material, wrong material, or blowing agent that was added in there. So these are a lot of things that you can look at for splay and uh, the majority of the time a lot of people go to this so let's say you're running for a long time you change material you go in with a different material all of a sudden you start seeing it more than likely it's going to be there a lot of people dry their materials even so i've seen companies that even dry polypropylene material so it, it a lot of people do that so you'll get it from blowing agent being in there too much blowing agent not enough balloon agent. I don't know. It's it just it goes back and forth. So, but the ma majority of the time, it's always a material issue, is what it usually comes down to. But like I said, this is the processing, mold side, machine side, material side. All right. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you guys out. Um, please like, share, and subscribe let comment down below and let me know exactly what you guys would like to see in the next video i do have a list of a lot of different things to go over um your support helps the channel out so i greatly appreciate it until next time peace